You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look, I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. What? Huh. That's barely a scratch. It's infected. It's not healing. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you just piss off? Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking.
Got it. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. But I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say anyway. To use that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... What's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Damn it!
This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. You don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. If they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One! You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once. The Basilisk. But she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. 
They killed my little brother! And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home! You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no... Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty... Son of a whore! Last 
last chance, Westerosi. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. for sport! The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. <laughs> I chose you for a reason! I offer you all a new life! You deserve better than this! You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment! Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn! And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! <laughs> 